Hi guys, and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl, Ruka. And Big Boy Seven here, bringing you our episode two of Chainsaw Man. So, Makima tells Denji that he's a dog, and his response should only be yes or woof. <laughs> Which is insane. Well, not really, because after the first episode, I basically said this when you were saying that you thought that, you know, this is potential love interest. That hasn't stopped for me. I don't see how it stopped. I still believe that there is still a potential love interest. I just believe that she's a person who's dominant and she needs someone who's subordinate. And she's got the perfect dog, as you will. And it still could be a match made. I, I know a lot of people who have that kind of dynamic in their relationships. I don't see how it cannot be that based on their interactions. Because she's very loving towards him. Maybe not sexually. More like a pet. But maybe that's where it starts. And Denji also believes basically what you've just said that he has a chance with her especially because when he asked her what her type was she says that her type was the denji type i don't think this means what he thinks it means obviously he thinks that he was asking what kind of guys do you date and she has responded with guys like you but i actually think that her type is more what you were saying a pet someone that she has power over I still get massive sociopath vibes from this chick and I don't feel like she has any um, soft emotions whatsoever. I think she just says things and does things that will be more likely to benefit her. Yeah, I think Denji hit the nail on the head. Everybody's looking for their happiness. It just so happens that the kind of life that Denji lived, his happiness bar is way low. So he's almost there. Whereas everyone is still looking for theirs. And Makima has her happiness. And Denji will probably try his best to make her happy so that he can be happy with her. So we met quite early on Aki. And he decides that he's going to beat Denji's ass and warn him off devil hunting. He basically thinks that Denji will just die like many others before him because he's not serious and he's just here for Maki's pum pum. And Denji swiftly introduces Aki to the streets. <laughs> Denji showed him what it was meant to be no nut November, bro. Denji decided that he lost a nut He's going to ruin his too. But <laughs> Denji came in with that swift knee and that multiple kicks to the groin. That was fun. No holes bar, TKO. Man was spluttering and crying, bro. And unfortunately, I felt every single one. Denji showed him that, bro, if you want to hit me in the face, that's fine. But I'm going to make sure that your kids feel it, bro. It was so deep. Now, don't be unfair to Denji. Because Denji said that what actually happened was Aki got beaten by the nut demon. It wasn't him. It wasn't him. <laughs> More like they're trying to get a nut demon. Because Denji, <laughs> Denji's there falling over Makima while duffing this guy in the grades. I'm just saying it's mad. <laughs> and Aki also has some feelings for Maki as well. So there's already some kind of rivalry between the two of these characters. Um, also, he tells Denji that he needs to drop the sympathy for fiends and for devils because his family was killed in front of him by devils. Aki needs to chill on this one. That's a you problem. Why does Denji need to drop sympathy because your family was killed in front of you? by devils like that's your issue maybe go to therapy or do what you're doing now because that can that's also a form of therapy keep murdering the the things that killed your family be on some revenge but you don't need to tell people what they need to do with their own feelings and their own emotions because you had a bad situation happen to you Look, your family got killed by devils. I get it. It's tough. But not all devils are the same. It's like when you hear a girl say, oh, don't date black guys because, ah, oh, one black guy cheated on me or this, that, and the other. Bruv, we saw Pochita was a good devil. Do you get what I mean? Pochita was a good devil. Look, we've seen power. She doesn't seem to be malicious towards humans in general. She seems to actually enjoy killing other 
devils. So it's like, I get it. It's traumatic. It's horrific. But the fact that you've got problems, like Ruka said, that's not Denji's problems. Denji was killing devils when he was like 14 or 12 or however young he was. And he was cutting trees. Man sold his left nut. Remember this, guys. He sold one of his nuts. So if you want to talk about problems, I'm not saying they're equal. I'm just saying everybody's got their problems in it. So one man's not taking it seriously as another man. This is my last ditch effort to avenge my family. Bruv, you're all in the same squad. And you all have the same goals. So there was no need to try and beat up the rookie. Because when you tried to put your hands on him, he put his feet to your nuts. Truthfully, Aki deserved it. Who do you think you are? Dashing a cigarette on my body and then spitting on it, which is on me. Are you dumb? Look, don't ever f- spit on me. Ooh. Like, that is a violation. Ooh, that right there was a violation. Ooh, 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 you deserve every single kick. You know what? You're lucky you still got your nuts. I'm just saying, because if that was me, if that was me, the chainsaws would have been out. And also, Denji could probably get a buyer lined up too because he's already had to sell his. So, <laughs> although to be fair, it's probably the dead Yakuza. But anyway, power. We have a new person and this is now Denji's partner that he has to go around with when on devil hunting missions. Very odd because power said that when she was just a demon, she's a fiend, when she was just a demon, she was very strong and loads of devils were afraid of her. And it seems like it has also continued. She said that if they smelt her scent, they would clear off. Power is quite crazy, bloodthirsty and strong. I am looking forward to seeing more of this character. I kind of disagree with you. I'm not saying that she's not powerful and strong. I agree with that in the state that she's in now. But Pochita wasn't really that strong. But when he fused with a human, Denji became really strong. And I know I've not got a lot of devils to go on, but this is kind of my theory now based on two episodes that the weaker the devil, the easier it is for the person possessed to be more human-like. That's just my theory based on two episodes. What do you disagree with what I said? The disagreement is that she was strong beforehand. I don't think she was strong as a devil. I think she only got strong when she became a fiend. So you disagree with the anime because the anime is what said that? No, she said that. I disagree with what she said. Okay, then. Cool, sorted. (laughs) If you had nuts right now, I might have the chicken (laughs) dog still. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we had a nice episode two, carrying on on the same level as episode one. Less blood and gore, but still a very good episode. And they introduced us to a couple of new characters. We're starting to get the team together now. Yeah, so I guess this unit four or whatever, this experimental group is going to be full of misfits, head by a very serious guy and they're gonna go around killing devils but it sounds like i don't know a teacher with his school kids doesn't it like it looks like one guy who can't really rein them in and Mackin was like the principal <laughs> like do you know what i mean? guess so yeah also like i like the way that i know they mention it and it's pretty on the nose but their first interaction between denji and aki where they're fighting did seem like dogs fighting for the attention of, you know, the owner. And I'm guessing this might be a concurrent theme throughout the whole anime. And on that note... Just like to say thank you so much for joining us today. We do really appreciate you. And if you want to chat, just DM us on Bomb Anime Insta or leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Peace. Peace.